Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please excuse the box. I was putting cuticle oil on and accidentally spilt some, so yeah, that's why the box looks like that. But so this is the October box from Manny by Me. Uh, this is the subscription box from Maniology, and this month's theme is absolutely adorable. I did see the live. I saw them unbox it and it's so cute. Oh my gosh. So it is fall theme, but it's got a special little little character and it's just oh it's absolutely adorable so this is the little card we get you're never alone when you've got garden gnomes this month you'll dig into a bountiful fall harvest with a garden gnome twist forged through a forest filled with woodland creatures mushroom homes and layerable gnomes we've cultivated a box that will grow your creativity and sprout new ideas like never before so our first polish is acorn it's a dark brown stop stamping polish in our classic cream finish and then artichoke is a yellow green stamping polish with a dual chrome finish and our free gift is some um latex free cuticle protectors so yeah so you don't get the stamping polish on your around your cuticles and on your skin this is just an inspo card um, to give you some inspiration and so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get into everything so yes these are the nail protectors here this is the free gift they're non-latex and yeah they're super cute they match the um the little card that came, you know, the little brown card, it matches the little characters and little animals, just little fall themes, super cute. I'm glad I got these because, yeah, I usually make a mess when I stamp on myself. So, yeah, I'm excited to try those. And you do get 30 of those. You get three sheets of 10. And so now these are the two polishes. And they are just so beautiful, perfect for fall. This is acorn and it's a very dark brown and it's just gorgeous. Very, very pretty color. And then we have artichoke, which is this yellowish green and it has a dual chrome finish. It's so pretty, look at that shine. Very, very pretty. And so now we're going to look at the plates here. This is the first one, the MXM113. And look how cute the little gnomes. It's got little mushroom houses. Oh, just absolutely adorable. Super cute theme. I absolutely love it. And then this is MXM114 and it's got animals. And then look over here, you can build your own gnome. It's so cute. And it's got little pumpkins, my secret garden. Just, oh, I love the little animals. I can't wait to do fall sets next month. I'm definitely going to use those little animals. They're so cute. So yes, I'm going to get everything ready here and we'll go ahead and swatch the polishes. All right, so I've got everything ready here. So I've had this box for a couple weeks, actually, um, and I already used it in my um, my Madam Glam video. If you saw that video um, for their palette, their new press pigment palette, I did go ahead and use this is the plate. I use one of the plates, and then I also use the polishes. So yeah, and then this is just a little example here I actually took this to my mom's she loves gnomes and i had to show her and now she wants to try stamping so yeah i brought some of my stuff over there and we stamped so yeah i absolutely love the little gnome that i built super cute and that little deer is just adorable so yeah you get to pick out the hat the little shoes and pants and like the little mustache beard super cute so yes, I always apply my sticky base to the top because sometimes my image doesn't stick to the top of it. So yeah, I use my sticky base. I'm going to go in with artichoke and we're going to do these little pumpkins here. I'm just loving this color. It's so pretty. And so now we're going to go in and do this little gnome and we're going to use acorn.
So I'm just showing here how I clean up um, after I stamp. You want to make sure you're wiping your plate with just 100% acetone. You don't want to use alcohol or anything, or any other type of nail polish remover because it has oils in it. So just 100% acetone. And that's what I'm wiping everything down with, even the little... Um, not the stamper. You never want to uh, use anything on the stamper. You just want to wipe it um, either on a lint roller or they have the little sticky paper. I have the sticky paper. So yeah, I'm just showing you how I clean up. I did get some on my gloves. I was making a mess. But yeah, so now we're going to get into the little demo here. And I already got my hand ready. I'm using cream donut, which is that beige on the middle finger and the ring finger. And then I'm using Bean Town on the pinky and the index. So yeah, I'm just trying to, I was just looking at what I wanted to, which images I wanted to use. So the first image I'm gonna use is this little mushroom here. And I believe that polish was, oh my gosh. Was it Sideshow? Sorry, I was talking, I missed it. But this gray and with the bean town, oh my gosh. I absolutely love that combination and yeah next month for November I definitely want to use do this on myself because I love the gray with that bean town oh it looks so pretty so now I'm going with artichoke and we're just gonna do some little leaves little leaves here but yeah I like the way that looked against that bean town super pretty so now we're going in with that gray again. I had once I saw I was like I have to use the gray again against that bean town because it just was absolutely gorgeous. So this one's just a bunch, I think it has a mushroom in the middle and then it just has a bunch of leaves. But like I said, it just looked so pretty. And then, of course, the nail's too long um, for the whole image, so I have to go in again and just do a little bit um, of the top of the image there. And then I'm just going to add it to the bottom of the nail. Yes, isn't that so pretty? I just love that oh, that gray. It's beautiful. And so now I'm just going in with some top coat. I'm just using a gel top coat. Um, just whatever I had, you know, right by my desk. I'm just using that. And I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. And so now we're going to go in and do this little mushroom house. I'm going to do some reverse stamping. And we're going to use acorn for the outline. Usually I use black, but I didn't want it to be too dark, the outline. So yeah, we're going to use acorn. And then we're going to use some of these other polishes that I have from other kits or other boxes. I'm trying to stick to like darker tones, you know, for fall. Yeah, I'm so glad I got this subscription box because I've got to build up my stamping polish collection and, you know, the boxes in spring had like bright colors and then we move into fall. So now I'm able to, use, you know, use what I have for fall, what I've been getting. So yeah, I just, I think the box is amazing. It's definitely worth it. And this is Gas Lamp. I think this came in the... Oh, I think it was last month, the September box. And so I'm filling in the little circles here that are on top of that mushroom. But yeah, like I was saying, the subscription box is, I think it's definitely worth it. Um, like I said, you get to build your collection and now I have these beautiful fall colors, you know, to use for sets coming up. So now I'm going to take Viper and this is what we're going to use for the whole top of the mushroom. This color is so dark it kind of took away from the little um, 
those little circles that I just filled in there. You couldn't really see them that that much at all. So yeah, I should have went in went in with a lighter color, but I don't know. I just thought this color was it's just a beautiful maroon color. So all I'm doing is filling in that whole top of the mushroom. And I'm using my little brush that we got. I believe last month is when we got these brushes. Um we got the brush it's a brush on one side and a dotting tool and i think we got five that was the free gift so yeah definitely come in handy for reverse stamping next time i'm gonna go probably go back to doing the dotting tool instead of the brush i don't know i think i did a better job with the dotting tool when i've done it before you know i just got to keep practicing but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and finish filling in the mushroom and then you can always turn the stamp around and look at at what you're doing it looks different from when you turn it around that's what it'll look like on the nail so now I'm taking honeydew which is this very pretty yellow this was kind of the mild yellow that I have I have some brighter ones so I wanted to use a kind of muted yellow and this is what I'm going to use to fill in the flower And now I'm taking Lace Wing, and this came in the box with the fairies. I think that was April. I think that was April's box, and this is a beautiful green. It kind of looks, kind of reminds me of asparagus, the one that came in this month, but it's a little bit lighter. And so I just wanted to use this to fill in um, the bushes. So I'm going to go in and put some sticky base coat just in case it doesn't stick. I didn't want to have to do the whole image over again. So yeah, and just apply some sticky base and then we have to let that dry for about 30 seconds. And now we're going to go ahead and place the image. All right, it looks really cute, but like I said, I should use a little bit lighter color so you could see the little dots on the mushroom, but I still think it came out cute. So now we're gonna do this one. It says Secret Garden, and we're gonna use Acorn again for the outline. And then we're gonna fill in the little, oh yeah, I think I wasn't recording when I um, stamped the image, but that's fine. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in and fill in the little maple leaf. All right, so now I wanted to do this little gnome and I didn't I didn't go in and reverse stamp this one. I just wanted to keep it, um, just keep it, you know, just with the outline, that way you could see everything. But yeah, next month when I do my fall sets, I do definitely want to do another gnome and like really color him in, but um, I thought it was cute just like this. Yeah, see, I was looking at it, and I was like, wait, should I reverse stamp? And then I was like, no, I'll just leave it. <laughs> but yeah, he's so cute. Like, he's working in his little garden. So then this is a little flower pot. And it has a little flower on it. And then I did decide to go in and uh, reverse stamp on this. I'm going to use yellow to fill in the flower.
Sorry, I'm out of frame. I'm just filling in the little flower as leaves and then the little flower pot. Oh, smoke show. That's the gray. Okay, yeah, that's the gray that I like on top of the bean town. That's smoke show. I think that came I think that came in the box of shadows, the Halloween box that they have. So I'm just putting this little watering can right there like his he's working in his little garden. So yeah, I think it came out really cute. And then I'm going to go over it with the smudge free top coat. Now a little bit of that Viper bled just a little bit and this was setting I think for about a day. And I don't know it didn't completely dry or something but it kind of bled a little bit. So now we're going to go in and make our little uh, gnome. I'm going to go in first and do his little shoes and pants. And I'm taking canteen. I think this was from the July box the camping box and I'm just gonna fill in his little pants it's like a teal um, with like a shift in it it's really pretty And then Honeydew, I'm going to go in to do his little mustache. Yeah, I heard, I think it was on the live, they said if you start with the feet first, it's easier. Instead of starting with the hat, um, you know, the hat and going down, you want to start with like the feet and then move your way up. That way it's, I don't know, I guess it gets, it lines up better. So that's what I did and it was a lot, you know, well, I didn't try it the other way, but everything lined up fine. So now we're going to do his little hat. And it's got the little nose on it. So cute. Yeah, I think it came out really cute. So I'm just going to take this little welcome sign and I think I put it on the bottom. Yeah, I was trying to show some close-ups here. And then I think I go in with just some little leaves um, on the top of him. Sorry, I, I, I'm i trying to avoid the light too because I don't want to blind you guys, but then I end up getting out of frame. But So yeah, I'm just going to clean that all up. And then I am going to do the smudge free top coat again. All right, so this is the finished little set here. Like I said, I absolutely love that gray against that bean town. It is just absolutely gorgeous. So, yes, I'm going to leave everything linked down below. Make sure you check out the box, it is absolutely amazing. I definitely recommend it. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.